Hello, hello, hello. Guys, I did my hair today. I got a big old head of hair. Y'all know that song? Who knows that song? From Webkins. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's like this lion character in Webkins. And he sings the song, he's, he goes, I got a big old head of hair. <laughs> and then, uh, the only reason I know about this is because my favorite streamer, back whenever he was a YouTuber, he made a video uh, playing Webkins with his friend. And he, <laughs> he just watched this music video for the lion singing that song. And he was like, okay, pal, you don't, you don't have to be, you don't have to be bragging like this. Because, uh, my streamer was bald at the time. Oh yeah, also... Jeez. And really embarrassing news for me. My stream was muted. My VOD was muted. Hi, Eva. Ruby. Ruby says hi. My mom did my hair. My hair. She did like little braids in it too. And this is sad. Thank you for your sympathy. Thank you for your sympathy. Ruby! Eva says hi! She had no reaction. <laughs> it looks so cute. Thank you. This is extensions that I got. Here's. I keep trying different things to try to get my natural hair to look darker. Like, I dyed it black, but... It was still very porous, so it didn't like absorb or it didn't like keep the dye very well. Very Gyaru. I don't really know that much about Gyaru. He has been wanting to get extensions. That's so real. I got mine from VP Fashion. Yeah, no, it is sad. But then I tried to put this brown leave-in conditioner on it. This is supposed to like help tint your hair brown. And it kind of made it look green because the purple from all of the purple shampoo that I had been using, it just made it look green. So then I was like, okay, what cancels out green? Red, I have red overtone. And so I put red overtone on it and now it's like splotchy. And I'm like, oh geez, real, real. So what I think I have to do is I'm gonna have to like go and get more overtone or possibly manic panic and then dye it red and then go see a professional but see, see we're like cash poor right now so I can't do that right now so I'm like trying to like do stuff in the meantime so I'm like because what they would do is they would put like filler in it and then they would dye it darker. And so I'm like, maybe I can do this at home. Maybe I can like put some red overtone on it as filler and then put black dye over that. A ring has their Cosmo license. Ask them about it. True, true. Very true. Or I can just have Brayden do my hair. Also, I had to wash my hair extensions the other day because they got in the pool and they were starting to smell like pool. And I was like, I can't both sell, I can't both smell like sunscreen because of the foundation that I use and be smelling like pool because of the pool water. I mean, I could. That's kind of my vibe, but I don't know if other people would get offended by it. I've been needing to bleach my roots. My bangs are pretty much my natural color. It's so bad. That's real. That's honestly real. Oh, there yeah, we got to pick one. Oh, yeah. 
You saw Laguna Coda? Thank you. Thank you. My mom said that I looked like a Bratz doll, and it, I think that's funny because she never let me have Bratz dolls as a kid. Oh my gosh, I need to show you my card. I made a card as a joke, and I need to show it to you. Yuzu, thank you, thank you. It's like a, it's like a on the down low thing. Excuse. Low key, I'm like, maybe I'll send it to you right now. Just because I think it's that funny. I like spent a lot of time on it. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. It's named after my spam. You gotta like click the buttons. Click the buttons. It's still a work in progress. I'm thinking of different stuff to add to it. But for right now, that's it. <laughs> I made it as a joke. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite lines from it is like hobbies. And then number one is like walking my fish. Number two is drinking woke liberal leftist tears or something. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Also, uh, fucking your dirty whore of a mother while your dad watches. While your pathetic loser dad watches. cute I love this thank you thank you I did my best fun fact there's um a line at the bottom to push the next button and it says by reading this <laughs> not homestuck is by <laughs> do not interact with me if you're a homestuck but the line is by reading this page you have legally uh confessed to the murder of Biggie Smalls and oh. At the time that I wrote that, like I wrote it and then news came out of like who really killed Tupac and Biggie or who really killed Biggie or who really killed Tupac or something. Before you follow suck my dick, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So my inspiration for this was mopper dash mopper dot card. Uh, which is Jake Johnston's card. I don't know if you guys know who Jake Johnston is. He used to be this streamer. And he had this whole like fake account that was called Mopperbot. Excuse. And it was something that he did is like he trolled, excuse me, he trolled Dreams fandom by like screenshotting their fan art and like posting it on his Twitter and being like, this is some new art that I just drew. And just basically kind of like trolling. <laughs> the first dog thing? Wait. Which dog? Loki? I don't even know. Oh, yes, that's real. Yeah, that's real. My mother, er. My first family dog was stolen from a neglectful drug dealer. She, I can like retell the story. So, I don't know if my mom was a drug dealer at this time, but uh, she knew of this drug dealer who was neglecting his dog in a trailer. I know it's like kind of like Life is Strange pills, but like kind of not. Cause, um, what was, what was the drug dealer in that game, Frank? Cause Frank treated his dog well, but in this story, the drug dealer was neglecting his dog, and so my mom and her friend went to this guy's trailer where the dog was, and they opened up the bathroom window, and my mom's friend pushed her inside, and she got the dog, and then she just like walked out with him. And that's the story of how we got Scooby. And then also stuff about Scooby is like, he would run away from the house a lot, 
Yeah, Frank, if he fucking hated his dog, real, real. Uh, the dog would escape from our backyard a lot and would go to this neighboring high school and because the dog's collar said Scooby on it, kids would just take the collar. I love Scooby. We have a picture of him um, in our living room. And then it has wording on it that says Bow Wow. I just thought it was so, it's literally so fucking funny how like, People think that dogs go bow wow. That's rude to steal his collar. I mean, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. I mean, if I was a high schooler, I was a high schooler and a dog just showed up to our school with a collar that says Scooby on it. I mean, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't snitch. Here, I can't. No, for real. And then um, this like one episode of the Powerpuff Girls, the professor gets turned into a dog. And he goes, bow wow, bow wow 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 wow. My mom loves dog shit like that. No, it's like, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a frame that says like, bark, bottom text. And it's like the colors of like a meme. I have a sign that says love is for a le is a four-legged word. It's so chuggy, but I love it. Amen. That's like some that's like some shit you would get at Bucky's. Like I have never heard a dog go bow wow. It's a rumor. It's literally a rumor. I'm here to clear the dog's names. They do not say bow wow. What else? I guess I could like talk about the Powerpuff Girls a little bit. Oh, last night I fell asleep watching Phineas and Ferb, which was crazy. <sighs> it actually, it gave me like pretty good dreams. Sometimes when I watch Bojack Horseman, it gives me nightmares and then sometimes it doesn't. But whenever I watch stuff like Epis for Family or what else? If I watch Orange is the New Black, or Law and Order SVU, I get dreams about cops, and I kind of just am not rocking with that. It's too confusing. They literally have Phineas and Ferb live streams on YouTube. Wait, from the official like uh, Disney Channel? I need to rewatch Bojack. Oh my gosh, yeah. I I notice something new every time that I rewatch Bojack or Rick and Morty. That's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm rewatching Rick and Morty. And like it's gotten to the point where the Night Family episode doesn't even scare me anymore because it's just so familiar. I hate community because I just think it's corny. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's corny. I respect it. I respect it at the minimum level of like respect that I can give to community. But I'm just, it's not my speed. And I'm not rocking with like this Christmas episode where they sexualized they like no it wasn't like sexualizing it was like annoyingly sexualized um the girl who voices diane and i was like this is like so corny because like you know that it was like written by dan Harmon, and it's like dan Harmon, you're a freak they live stream like different old disney channel shows you know what i really need to rewatch is i really need to rewatch gravity falls i really need to rewatch gravity falls it's not corny, it's meta, valid, but also I fucking hate Muppets. I fucking hate Muppets. I feel like they overuse Muppets in their, in their shows. An ant just bit me. I thought I was safe in the pool. Yeah, that's fair as hell, and it can be annoying. Yeah, she's just, ugh. It just did not, it was not giving what needed to be gave. I miss Gravity Falls. Me too. They should bring it back. I need, I need something new. I need like a series that's like stylized like Bojack Horseman, but it's about like a bikini streamer. There's like one episode with them about like about Gravity Falls. I'm, I'm lost. 
Diane over Annie for sure, for sure. Whenever I first found out that the girl who played Annie voices Diane, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? And now I can't look at Diane the same. With the Muppets? For real, for real. I mean, I just, I'm not rocking with the Muppets. I don't know why everybody is rocking with the Muppets. Like, it's like, I never found you cute. I never found you funny. I never found you entertaining. All I found you was annoying. I can never hear Diana saying that's real. That's real. What is your least favorite episode of Bojack Horseman? Because my least favorite would have to be the one where they're underground. I actually used to love the Muppets, no way. I don't know, I just, like it's the same thing with people obsessing over like peanuts. Like I don't get it, but I respect it. My family loved the Muppets and the Bohemian Rhapsody cover. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I just, I can't with the Muppets. I can't, it's creepy, they look weird. I'm rocking with Sesame Street more than I'm rocking with the Muppets. Probably the one where he grooms a kid. Oh yeah, true. The one with Penny. Excuse. I liked the Muppets when I was younger, like eight. That's real, that's valid. I know my sister used to like the Wiggles. Take me back to like whenever I was in New Orleans and like drinking vampire themed blood bags of sangria. I love the Wiggles fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Bro, I feel like, I think that they're making a documentary about the Wiggles or something that's coming out on like maybe HBO Max or something or maybe Peacock. I've listened to Guts Spilled, I have not. I've listened to Guts. I listened to like, uh, I was like driving out of my uh, psychiatrist building, out of my psychiatrist parking lot, I mean. And uh, I remember listening to, listening to like All American Bitch and being like, okay, like, okay, yeah, like this is real. She's real, I was thinking about driver's license last night. Either last night or early morning, I was thinking about driver's license. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, you know how everybody, I guess everybody has, like, the celebrities who are, like, their age, where they're like, that's crazy that, like, they're going somewhere in life, or that, like, you watched them come up as celebrities. Like, I think Billie Eilish is around my age, Charlie D'Amelio is around my age, Olivia Rodrigo is around my age, and your, and your age. I like your music because some of her concert videos are rough. I mean, I don't really know. I'm not gonna speak on something I don't know about, but yeah. It's wild to think Olivia is my age. And she was homeschooled. Like, I can get over the fact that she's our age, but like, I can't get over the fact that she's homeschooled. She was homeschooled. And she was on the Disney Channel. Or Disney Plus, I think. She does crazy. Was she really? Yes, she was on High School Musical, the musical, the series. And that's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you didn't know that. Uh, that's why she and Sabrina Carpenter have beef is because they're both Disney girls. And that guy, Josh, whatever his name is, left Olivia for Sabrina. She was on a show with Jake Paul. <gasps> Bizarre Bark? Oh my gosh, I feel like I've seen a couple of episodes of Bizarre Bark in like hospital waiting rooms. No, I mean she was homeschooled, oh my god. Yeah, she was, she was homeschooled. She really was homeschooled. She was really like, yeah, I'll take my studies at home. 
No, I know the tea, yeah, valid. I don't know. I don't know why I just like mansplain that to you. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that Jake Paul was also on Disney Channel? Have you have you seen um Cody Ko's video where he talks about Jake Paul where he it was like a that's cringe episode and it was Jake Paul doing a video where he was driving around with 21 Savage. You do know about the That's Cringe episode? Oh my god. It's so funny. Like, he was like, you know, some people say I'm a savage. 21 Savage just looking at him like, I've killed people before, dog. Like, in a video game, but like, it's a hard watch, not gonna lie. No, I feel like I'm beyond that. I feel like I'm beyond things being a hard watch and getting secondhand embarrassment. Like, I just... I've simply transcended. Ricky the Blazer! <laughs> and he's a surfer, bro. Jake Paul and Logan Paul are like painfully Californian. That's my consensus. I can't believe that there's two of them. I can't believe that they're not twins. I can't believe that they're not twins. His alter ego, not his alter ego. It's the same thing as like girls like Ashley being like, you don't want to see me whenever I drink too many. Ashlyn comes out and it's like, go fuck yourself, girl. believe they're not twins. No, like they're literally, it's like crazy to like look at celebrities like Jake Paul and Logan Paul and like Dixie D'Amelio and Charlie D'Amelio and being like, yep, those are siblings. Those are, they're the same age apart as me and my sister. Like it's absolutely bonkers. I'll tell you what's also bonkers is that whenever I was, whenever I was younger, um, people would think that my oldest sister was my mom because she's like 12 years older than me. Bitch, I forgot Angus Cloud fucking died. Brandon reminded me today. Oh my god. Dude, it's because um, they have a show, they have a movie on HBO Max or something that has Angus Cloud in it. I sure all thought that Charlie and Dixie were twins for a while. That's honestly real. The fraternal twins be scary. Like, everyone thinks the identical twins are scary. It's the fraternal ones you gotta worry about because it's like, they got a secret. Can you keep it? Swear this one you'll save. Uh, what else? Who else is like a famous like celebrity couple? Oh my gosh, I'm just, I still think about this to this day how Phineas was dating a girl who looked just like Billie Eilish. Looked like Billie Eilish, but in a different font. And there were memes every, the, everywhere that were like, Copycat was about his brother, her brother's girlfriend. Like, bonkers. I also like fully brought like three things of nail polish out here because I was like, I'm gonna like try to do my toes on stream. And then I realized that you can see my stomach rolls and I was like, mm, maybe another day. Isn't he still, he still is? Bruh. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. I just remember seeing the memes back in the day. That's so icky. That's so icky. So I know my brother and his girlfriend who have the same name as me broke up. I thought they were still together. I'm not saying that they aren't. I'm just saying that it reminded me of that. They look so much alike. Literally. Oh my gosh, what else can I talk about? While we're on the subject of, I didn't know y'all share a name. 
not not the exact name but like think 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 kind of obvious think kind of obvious think kind of common but yeah basically her name was Lily <laughs> spelled L-I-L-I and she was born in like 2000 oh my god you know what I fucking hate I literally absolutely fucking hate this is whenever people who were born in the 90s I swear to god people could be born people could be born fucking December 30th 1999 and they'll still be like it's so weird that some people are born in the year 2000 and in like the 2000s and it's like bruh yuck real real but it's okay that they broke up it's i'm i'm okay that they broke up that shit was a toxic ass relationship i have beef with so many lilies oh my god Uh, what is it with the lilies? They're so deceiving. They're so deceiving because they have the name that's like, I am, I'm like a pretty like peaceful person. And then they go around and like, are the worst fucking people you've ever met. They're just cunts real, absolutely real. I hate this ledge because it's like, if I like angle my camera down, can you see it better? Okay, now I can just like casually sit. And it sucks because lilies are some of my favorite flowers. No way! No way. Dog, my mom got lilies in like uh, the foyer. In our foyer. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Is that a chicken? Y'all know that vine? Y'all know that vine of keeping up with the Kardashians? Whenever Chris is like, Kylie Jenner to the foyer, I have a little surprise for you. And she's holding like a baby pig. And Kylie comes down and she's like, is that a chicken? They're so pretty. Yes. But like real lilies are like dangerous for cats. But I assume my mom knows that. Is that a chicken? I literally need to try to find a vine compilation that um, has like appropriate vines in it and like has like appropriate and iconic vines. Oh my gosh, why did I make my stream, stream alert so, so tiny? Why did I make my stream alert so tiny? It's okay, we're making it bigger now. I'm gonna go into uh, my Twitch and thank that follower. Kara Okada! Kara Okada! How are you? Thank, thank you for typing something in the chat so I don't have to like go all the way to like my browser to see it. Thank you so much, that's iconic of you. How are you doing, Caro? I know of all, of all of the good flowers are bad for animals. That's so sad, except like roses. Roses are good for animals. And thank God that they're like the traditional like Valentine's Day flower. So that, you know, we don't have like a bunch of like pet deaths on like Valentine's Day or close to it. I still remember, were you there for Valentine's at Merida? where they gave us uh, boxes of chocolate, where the staff gave us boxes of chocolate. Fine, and you? I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I woke up like pretty early and then I took a nap and now I'm out here. And later today I'm gonna be filming a YouTube video whenever it gets darker. Real roses are the best and universally loved. Is there a difference between like the traditional rose and like the real rose? Mm. 
Yeah, I was, because I remember making noises. Oh my god! But yeah, I remember being like, I want to save these chocolates a little bit. Like, I don't want to overindulge. Oh my gosh, Eva! I have uh, this friend named Libby. I have this friend named Libby and I think I want her to like, I think she's going to come over sometime soon and I want you to meet her. No bestie, I meant real. Oh, real. Roses are the best. I see, I see, I see. Roses are kind of iconic. They're pretty, they're popular, and they have thorns. It's the most popular flowers that have the thorns. I want to be Livy. Yes, she's so cool. You can see her on my Instagram. You can find her account on my Instagram. I think her username starts with an XX and then it's Livy. Yeah. She's she's kind of pooky pilled. She's kind of pooky pilled. I'm gonna be real. I was talking, okay, you go do that, you go do that. Oh my gosh. What else? I can't wait till all my friends come over and then we're like, I'm just going to really like playing Marines. Are you playing Marines? Honestly, I feel like, I feel like some people might think that like, oh, Libby, yes, Libby, Libby. Which I think is like the coolest name ever. Yeah, I know, right? It's short for Elizabeth, and I'm like, you know, out of all of the, out of all of the nicknames for Elizabeth, that's kind of like the best. You know what I mean? Because it reminds everybody of Libby Lou. I think one of my sisters had a party, had a birthday party at Libby Lou whenever we were younger. You know, Libby, Lilo, and Lovey, real. The three L's. <laughs> Taking L's left and right. Libby really is a cute name. Oh gosh, what else? I still have a geek bar. I bought, I buy, I've started to buy my geek bars in two so that live, laugh, and love, but it's Libby, Lilo, and Lovey. <laughs> I need to text her that. I need to text her that when we're done. I need to like low key make a group chat of all three of us. Your vape shop is always sold out? No way. They're good, they literally never taste burnt. They never taste burnt. And they have, um, they show you like how many hits you have left. I know it kind of looks glitchy right now, but that's just because of the green uh, camera thing reflection in it. But it shows you how many hits you have left of it. I've only gotten them once and they have the zodiac signs minus, minus a cancer. I was just no. no. Um, but I started to buy my vapes in twos, in groups of two, because I never know if the vape shop is gonna card me. Because the vape shop that I went to all the time uh, started hiring this new employee who cards me, and I want so badly to like just do my crazy girl thing and like leave a review that's like <laughs> sorry this is gonna sound like so awful so awful but I, she has like I know which car is hers and she has a sticker on the back that says Slipknot with a pink heart and I ugh, just I fucking hate her I fucking hate her for trying to card me but I want to go into the reviews and be like <laughs> that blonde at the register that checked me out was really hot or like maybe just go back to the place, look at her license plate, and just leave a comment that says like the make and model of her car, 
and the license plate number. But maybe that's like crazy. That that really is crazy. So we haven't done it. But <laughs> I don't know. The reason why I haven't done it is because I know that if you sell to a minor and you get caught, like you get jail time and it's like a felony or something, or you have like a permanent criminal record. So I'm not gonna do it. But that's just where my mind goes. You're insane, Olivia. Thank you. Thank you. my devious ass brain what flavor is the aries one do you remember also the cancer one is berry bliss i have noticed that the berry flavored vapes kind of curb my appetite i'm trying to lose the weight that i gained whenever I, whenever now that i'm on mood stabilizers but yeah Blow pop? No way! I have like a whole bag of those sitting by my computer. I love berry flavored vapes. They're real. They're like, like, it, why get a vape if you're gonna like get menthol or something like that? Oh my I'm on Lucy Blues. Which ones? I'm on. I want a small dose of lithium and four milligrams of risperidone. We love mood stabilizers making us less reactive. I'm also getting Adderall soon. I, I'm not rocking with Adderall to be honest with you. I used to be on it. I didn't get any sleep whenever I was on Adderall. I mean, I got like a few hours a night, but I'm not rocking with Adderall. I'm rocking with Vivance though. Zeprazidone? Zeprazidone. I'm on Respiridone. But what is Zeprazidone? Is that like... What's the, what's the brand name of that? My doctor was like, maybe you should get on Latuda. And I'm like, maybe? But I like my medications where they are right now. Starting me on a small dose of Adderall. I see, I see. See, I know what you were gonna say. I knew what you were gonna say. I read your mind. <laughs> um, yeah. Start, start so with the Adderall. Make, like, always, always, always take it before noon. I learned that the hard way. But yeah, Adderall was kind of, Adderall was kind of bestie. And if you don't get the extended release version, you can, you know. <laughs> in a game, in a game. Speaking of games, I have Life is Strange Before the Storm, but I just haven't played it yet. I was on Latuda, it wasn't bad. When I went too high, I would throw up. Did you know that you're supposed to take Latuda with at least 350 calories worth of food? That's good to know it's extended release. I see, I see. We do need a FaceTime, we do need a FaceTime. I'm gonna like film a YouTube video and then if there's still light out. Oh! No. They're not on. Oh, I don't have these ones on. I didn't know that, yeah. It's not supposed to cause weight gain, but you have to take it with 350 uh, calories. Oh my gosh, my OCD, unmedicated, is like so bad. Like I'm not unmedicated for it right now, but this just made me like think about that. Whenever I'm not on OCD medications and I wake up in the morning and I have to do something, I literally just get so anxious that I have to like throw up. I like the new mood stabilizer I'm on. I like the mood stabilizers I'm on. Dude, my new psychiatrist thinks I have OCD. I can see that. I think it's like pretty common. I think it's pretty common. You might have like pure O OCD, where it's like, 
um, mental compulsions. Like if you find yourself constantly dwelling on the past, then that might be rumination OCD. And, and, What else? What else was I gonna say? Rumination OCD, and then if you just like treat, if you just like treat um, your negative thoughts, like go into, like go amongst your day with the thought, with it in mind that your thoughts might be intrusive thoughts, that your negative thoughts might be intrusive thoughts. I do ruminate. See, I'm, I've been doing it all the time. <laughs> it's like not fun. I think the reason the reason why I ruminate is to like desensitize, is to desensitize myself to stuff. Yeah. No, literally real, real. And then above that, I have contamination OCD which is like a, usually a, a mental thing but every once in a while I'll like get something on my hands and I'll be like I'll be like you know like even if it doesn't leave a residue I'm like I can still feel like a stickiness on my hands I'm constantly replaying the past it's, it's hard the most helpful thing that I found about rumination OCD is like just you have to force yourself to be distracted like always here's what I always do I always have music playing and or I am always watching something whether it's TV YouTube or a movie and whenever I catch myself thinking too much I just think about I just focus on what the song is saying or what the movie is saying I don't know if it's because of that I think I like looking for answers in the past if that makes sense yeah that's like a theory in your head that you're testing you're like constantly testing out theories like was it this was it this that was the reason that this happened to me I don't know the exact uh details of like your ruminations but you're like is this the reason why this happened to me? Or like, is this the reason why this happened the way that it happened? It's like you're constantly theorizing in your head. Yeah, you might have OCD. Loki, I'm like, I need to get another drink. Oh, okay. Me trying to talk with baby in my mouth. But anyways. Pizza's here, I gotta go soon. That's also kind of a part of my BPD too. Cause like I got major trust issues with people and my OCD and BPD probably go hand in hand. Yeah, your OCD might be giving you paranoia or at least like suspicions. And uh, like if you feel like you constantly have to like test people, you're like constantly theorizing and you're like expressing that testing. So it might not be pure O, but I don't know. With vape in my mouth is such a funny sentence. My streamer loves to talk with, um, after he's just vape, with vape in his mouth because it makes his voice sound deeper, but I'm like, I literally can't. Like, I literally can't. Yep. It might be a combination of two. Because I know that I have OCPD and OCD, so that's my conjuncture. And CPTSD. Yeah, I choke. I don't know how people talk. I don't know how people talk with me in their mouth. But anyways, I'm getting ready to go. Not you diagnosing me on stream. 
people just don't know what OCD is. People literally just don't know what OCD is. Um, partially because like they don't know how other people think. So they don't really know how like other, they really don't know what exactly is an intrusive thought versus like what isn't. So they kind of just accept their intrusive thoughts as like part of them. Bye, I love you, face to me later. For sure Z's, for sure Z's. Um, yeah, I just wish more people knew about OCD and I'd solve a couple of issues. But yeah, that is it for the Lula Mystic Stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm now signing off. Yours truly, Lilo.